A full frame sensor does not produce a shallower depth of field compared to an APS-C sensor, but that's irrelevant. Let me explain. Okay, so I've just had my appendix removed and the doctor said I should take it easy the first week. I probably shouldn't be working right now and so he probably also won't like it if he sees me uploading videos, but I really want to keep making videos. So I came up with a cunning plan and it will blow your mind. I'm gonna have a beer while recording this video and then just rant about stuff and then it won't count as work because you know, you can't drink at work, right? So doctor, this is not me working. This is just me having a beer, relaxing, talking to my people. That's it. So there you go, problem solved. That's brilliant. I mean, yeah, my own intelligence scares me too sometimes. I also live in the beer capital of the world, Belgium. So maybe I should make this a series, me ranting about stuff drinking a beer and then a different Belgian beer every week. This is a Stella, by the way, the most famous one. In the US, you probably also can find this. Um, yeah, that's actually a good idea. I'll think about it. Anyway, this video is not about beer. Look, whenever I make a video APS-C versus full frame and I say that full frame produces a shallower depth of field compared to an APS-C sensor, there's always a few people who feel the need to comment something like He's lying! Sensor size doesn't affect depth of field! And then a lengthy essay with calculations and numbers and oh my god! I'm not lying, okay? Maybe I'm just phrasing it incorrectly, but I'm not lying. And the thing is, I also don't care because it's not important to me as a photographer or a filmmaker. Look, technically, you're right, sensor size does not affect depth of field, technically. Because when you put a 22mm lens on both an APS-C camera and a full frame, and you take a photo with both, same distance to the subject, depth of field is indeed pretty much exactly the same. The background blur looks the same because the APS-C photo is basically the same photo as the full frame photo, but just cropped because of the smaller sensor. It's just the field of view that changes. But that doesn't matter if you actually take photos or shoot video. The only thing that's important, in my opinion, is what a photo looks like when filling the frame with a subject of the same size. So identical framing, right? And that's how you should compare the two sensors. Just lubricating my voice here. And not working, not at all, I'm relaxing. Uh, <laughs> the thing is, if you want to do that, take a photo with the same framing with both an APS-C and a full frame camera with the same lens, again a 22mm for example, you're gonna have to move closer to the subject with the full frame camera because of that wider field of view. And moving closer to the subject will give you a shallower depth of field. And it will also change the perspective. I don't care that the depth of field is the same when you stay at the same distance from your subject because it's not important, it's irrelevant. Because what you get is two completely different photos or videos. And you could also use a different focal length to get the same framing at the same distance. For example, use a longer focal length on the full frame camera. But focal length also affects depth of field. Longer focal lengths have a shallower depth of field than wide focal lengths. So yeah, technically sensor size doesn't affect depth of field if you take a photo with both an APS-C and a full frame camera, same focal length at the same distance, but it's irrelevant, right? Because you'll end up with two different photos. And if you want the same framing, then you're gonna have to move closer with the full frame camera or use different focal lengths to match the framing. And that's gonna affect depth of field. <sighs> so the thing is, sensor size doesn't affect depth of field. <sighs> Technically, you're right, but Every time writing it in the comments, it's just wise assery. That's what it is. Not working here, just ranting about stuff. Relaxing. Maybe not relaxing right now because my um, heart rate is going up. <clears throat> anyway, 
maybe in the future, you know, to make a compromise here, maybe I'll say something like full frame encourages a shallower depth of field, something like that. It doesn't produce a shallower depth of field, but it encourages shallower depth of field photos, results. Does that make sense? I don't know. Anyway, it feels good. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next one. Scroll.